Can I print it on this? Yes. Will it work on this? Of course. No way I can print it on this. Si, sí, senor. Can I print it on this? Yeah. Can I print it on this? Yep. Can I press it on this? Uh-huh. Can I press it on this? Oh, yeah. Can I press it on this 100% polyester shirt that I would normally use for sublimation? You got it. There's no way I can press it on this canvas bag, can I? And this is okay, too. Dang, I really need some heat transfers. Oh, look, FCD vinyl and apparel. Something? Yes, I need some heat transfers. Perfect, you have come to the right place. We offer a DTF service. Here, we offer our DTF services, which are 22 by 24 borderless transfers, high definitions. These are things that you can't do with vinyl and sublimation. Do you have a vinyl cutter or a sublimation machine? Perfect, well then this will be good for you. We offer full color transfers. Um, this 22 by 24 sheet is only $19.99. We have dropped our prices for the new year. If you order 100 or more, you can get them for $15.99, which we do offer the wholesale prices for you as well. Okay, so explain to me a little bit about the process because like, what is this exactly? Like, what is this? This is something that I can cut out. Do I, do I only get one of them? Like, how does, do I get the whole thing? Do I get the whole sheet for $19.99? Um, you know, is, is, is this plastic? What am I exactly doing with this? Like, what are the things that I can do with this sheet? Am I getting the whole sheet? I'm getting the whole sheet, is that correct? Yes, sir, you would get this entire sheet for $19.99. You can put as many logos as you can fit on here. And it is a water-based ink. We print it on these big industrial printers. We print them out with this uh, eco-friendly water-based ink. And then you we would print this on. This, this is a direct-to-film process, so we print direct-to-film. I don't know if you're familiar with the DTG, which they print directly to the garment. So direct-to-garment. So now they have a new invention, which is direct to film, where you're kind of in control of your brand and your business and your uh, custom apparel. So we would print it on these films here. You would cut your logo out and then you would press things that you can't do with vinyl and that you can't do with sublimation. So if you were able to have, let's say, um, 12 by 12, if you have a 12 by 12 logo, you can fit about four 12 by 12s on here. You can see, I don't know, I think these may be four by four. Look how many four by fours that you can fit on one 22 by 24 sheet for $19.99. Okay, so I can fit, if I have a big image, say an 11 by 12 or 12 by 12, I can fit four on one sheet. Yes, you can fit 11 by 12s and 12 by 12s on our 1999 22 by 24. You can fit about four. I have a Cricut mat here for all my people who use Cricut. This is a standard grip Cricut mat. As you can see our 12 by 12, which is from this point to this point, here, here, depending on the logo, if it's very boxy, it might be have to be a little smaller, but depending on the logo, you can fit about four, 12 by 12s on our 1999 logo. This is, oh, let's see how big. Cricut Mat Users. So let's see here. So this is an 11 by, let's just say 11 by five. So let's see how many we can fit on our 11 by five. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, probably about seven to eight. I can probably maneuver it a little bit. So you can fit about eight of these on one sheet, which is amazing. 
So if I'm able to fit this huge image, because this is an image that I really like, it's made by my uh, it's made by my cousin back home in Albany, New York, Seoul, Albany. So this is a really big image. I think this will be really, I'm a big guy, I'm 6'4", 250. So this is a really big image. I think that this will be great for somebody like my size. But if I print this on a, on a sheet, if I print this on a sheet and there's room left, do you fill up the room or is it just, I only get the images that, um, that I want printed? Yes, we would definitely maximize your sheet by adding other smaller images. If you'd like to send me an image that you would like to add in the smaller spaces, or I would just make this, um, I know you mentioned that it would be big on the front. So me, I would just make it probably a four by four, just if you wanted to throw it on the front of a sheet and kind of fill it in to maximize your space on your sheet. This is delicious. So you're telling me, that I can print this image really big, no matter what size it is, as big as 22 by 24. And then in all the little spots, like if there's room, I can get more images. Cause with Supercolor, if whatever image that I print, I'm stuck with that. So you're telling me that I'm not stuck with that, that you are gonna like fill in all the little areas and make like smaller logos for me or maybe put some words there. I'm able to just send it to you. And I think that has a term. What's the, what's the term for that? Gang sheet, we use that term gang sheet here in the custom apparel world when making our DTF services. Thank you for bringing that up. Let me give you an example of our gang sheet here. We have our Sinclair photos. We were able to uh, distribute his custom apparel. He is a big YouTuber here in Houston, Texas. If you wanna take a look at him, it's Sinclair photos on YouTube. Great car content. If you take a look at this, gang sheet. I was able to maximize his space. Um, if you look here, I slanted this one and kind of make it uh, made it ununiform just so we can fill in those spaces with those graphics and with those images. And also this gang sheet here is very uniformed. We have two different types of images and they were all able to fit on one page. Other companies do not allow gang sheets. Other companies don't allow you to order uh, your, what is it, a customized dimension. They have their own dimensions they have you set at and you have to put your dimensions into what they offer. So we're able to offer any dimensions you like, any size you like, as long as it can fit on a 22 by 24. So I just got a quick little question. I got, a, I got my grandfather, he's 90 something years old. If I send you a picture of my grandfather, can you print it? Of course we can print your grandfather on our DTF sheets. We offer image quality and photo quality like we mentioned before, there are no limitations on the amount of colors, the amount of gradients, the amount of quality. As we do offer, we do recommend a high quality image, HD image, but either way, it would come out amazing. Okay, I'm gonna send you a picture of my grandfather. Where's my phone? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, what's your email? You can send that image over to fcdvinylandapparel at gmail.com. Sent. Great, I will look for that email and we will uh, get you started. Sheets are ready in two to four business days. Three days later. Your sheet has came in with your grandfather. It came out amazing. I know you were a little bit worried about the resolution of the image, but not to worry. I think it came out great. Let's take a look. Here you go. And what was your grandfather's name? Papa Jim. Papa Jim. Amazing, amazing. Like we mentioned before, photo quality is recommended here as well as image quality. They all come out so good. Do you have any other questions? Mm. My grandfather looks amazing. I don't know how you did that. Now the picture that I use is from a picture from our website, Boxley's, uh, boxleyservices.com or boxleys.com on, on Google. But anyway, so my grandfather is a, is a huge inspiration to my whole family. And I'm glad that you were able to print that picture out. Now I can send, uh, now I can make shirts with my grandfather on them and then I can send them back home to New York and we can all rock Papa Jim on our shirt. But the picture quality is kind of, 
I used Canva to do it and I love Canva, but the picture quality isn't that high. Is there any way that I can raise the picture quality? Well, Mr. Straight Outta Content, I knew you would ask that question. So I went ahead and prepared some sheets for you to kind of give you those examples and that contrast on how we would make that resolution higher. So here um, in our DTF services, we use vector files. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but we are familiar with that, so we can definitely help you. A vector file is when you take the resolution of the image and put it at the highest quality. So let's go ahead and see some examples of that. So this is, let's start with this one. This is an image of a non-vectored file. If you can see here, you can see the pixelation of the image. You can see the um, kind of like the double lines here. And overall, it's just a very low resolution image. So I went ahead and had that vectored for you for, uh, for just a small fee. We offer that fee for 15 dollars to vectorize your file. So let's go ahead and take a look at the new vectored highest resolution image. Right here. Now look at how sharp those edges are and how clean. Let me put this, I'm gonna put this as pixel, pixel, sharp, sharp. Do you see the difference and how amazing and how different it can change your transfers? It can take it from a very low quality to a very high quality with a quick conversion of your file. And I know you, um, I saw your videos and I seen your beautiful wife at FCD Vinyl and Apparel. So I went ahead and put a vectorized uh, sheet, a vectorized logo for your wife as well. And I was able to maximize your space by putting these small little ones, just in case um, you wanted to make some of those for your kiddos or anything like that. Just trying to maximize your space. Oh my God, my wife, she's gonna love the, uh, the extra logo that you put on there. And I'm really gonna appreciate the little small straight out of content logos that you put. Cause for my apparel, I like to put the little straight out of content here and then the big straight out of content here or maybe content or something like that. So I truly appreciate you maximizing my space uh, so that I can have all the different images and stuff like that on one sheet for just $19.99. I truly appreciate that. And again, my grandfather will love that his face is on all his children and grandchildren's uh, shirts and stuff like that. But my question is, because right here, this is vinyl, right? It's small, it's an, another brand that I have. So, and I'm a small business. So it feels like not, some, not necessarily plasticky, but it does like try to crinkle and stuff like that. So if I were to go with this huge, big old straight out of content image. How is this gonna feel when I press it on a hoodie or on a shirt? And does my shirt have to be like cotton or polyester? Can I press this on anything? Great question, Mr. Straight Outta Content. That is a very frequent question that we get here at FCD Vinyl and Apparel on how does it feel in the garment? And that's very important when you're starting your own brand. You want to know the quality of the product. Does it feel too plasticky? Does it feel papery? I get a lot of uh, papery from other DTF services. It felt too papery. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some examples on how it feels. Let me grab my shirt here. All right, so I have, and um, I'll answer the second part of that question. Let's go ahead and just get into how it feels. I would say it is a cross between vinyl and screen printing. If that's something you're familiar with, it is not a papery feeling, it's not a very thick plasticky, and it's, it's just that hybrid right in between. Uh, right in between, depending on the size of the image. Of course, if you have, you know, thin letters, it's gonna be a little bit thinner. If you have a one big piece, like your piece is a big straight out of content, that's gonna be feeling a little bit more thicker than other images. So we can go ahead and take a look at some, let me, uh, let me see if you can hear it. Put the microphone close. Here we go. So it's not quite, all the way into the fabric like our sublimation and it's not thick on top of the fabric like our vinyl. So like I mentioned, it's just a very good 
hybrid transfer. And if you can see how beautiful the colors pop on our black garments. And over here, this is uh, Sinclair Photos, as we mentioned before, and this is his brand. Very beautiful, very vibrant red against that, Ooh. against that black. Okay, so this is it. Oh yeah, okay. You can hear it. And what's crazy is um, what I'm noticing whenever I touch it is that the thicker the image, it kind of does feel like vinyl a little bit, which I kind of understand, right? Because I'm going with such a huge, big image. But um, what I'm noticing is how durable it is. You know what I mean? It's not wanting to crinkle, like I'm crinkling it, but then it just comes right back. You know what I mean? So can, I assume that I can just iron on this or you know, wash it, you know, tumble dry or something like that. About how many washes or how durable do you think that this stuff is? Because I'm pulling on it and this is stuff that wouldn't, I don't think I'd be able to, am I messing up your shirt? I'm sorry, but I don't think I'd be able to do this with uh, with vinyl. So I truly do appreciate the fact that this, uh, that this holds up. This is, this looks like a product that I would, I really want to uh, put my brand on. Uh, yes, sir. Please uh, watch the merchandise. This is for display only. Um, but yes, as you mentioned, it is very durable. It is crack proof, bleed proof, fade proof. It is amazing. Uh, we have done a wash test. We've done 70 washes, but I do recommend uh, wash inside out and hang dry. Do not apply heat to this. You can iron maybe on, if it does, like, you know, get wrinkly from being in the dryer if you dry and I don't recommend drying. You can iron on the other side, but let's be sure to uh, tumble, wa no, is it tumble wash? Gentle wash and tumble dry or air dry. So like I mentioned, very durable, fade proof, crack proof, everything. So this is going to last you a while for your brand. Okay, so I have my own brand, Shredded Content, stuff like that. And I noticed you made these little ones, right? You made these like little straight out of contents. Could I make like tags out of these where I can put it in the back of my shirt and then this way people know like like this, like gilded, right? Like gilded. Can I make a tag like this with uh, DTF? I mean, with the with your guys DTF transfers or what are they called? Flash custom transfers. Can I can I make a tag like this? Great question, Mr. Straight Out of Content. I love it. I love that you're looking to elevate your brand. And yes, we do offer private labeling tagless transfers. Let me show you an example. So we have here our tagless private labeling heat transfers. So about two by two, you can fit about 80 on one sheet. A 22 by 24, you can fit 80. Let's go ahead and pan down. So you would, um, of course, get your logo, your size, and whatever you would like to put on there, and then you would submit this to me, and then we would go ahead and print that for the $19.99 um, per sheet, just like any other sheet. It's amazing how many that you can fit on one 22 by 24, and it would elevate your brand, let everybody know this is straight out of content brand, the size and it just like I mentioned elevates the brand can I print it on this yes will it work on this of course no way I can print it on this si sí, senor can I print it on this yeah can I print it on this yep can I press it on this uh-huh can I press it on this oh yeah can I press it on this 100% polyester shirt that I would normally use for sublimation? You got it. There's no way I can press it on this canvas bag, can I? And this is okay too. Thank you so much for all your help, Chelly. I truly appreciate it. You have answered all of my questions. I will definitely be placing orders at fcdvinylandapparel.com where I can just click shop now, place my order, and then send you my image through email. So after I place my order, you told me that I have to send my image through your email, which is fcdvinylandapparel at gmail.com. And then from there, you will send me my prints. I will pay for shipping, and then you will mail me my prints or it's free in-store pickup. So I can come in here and check on you and come and pick up my prints because I like to see you whenever uh, you're here by yourself, whenever that guy, other guy isn't here. Um, uh, okay, I'm embarrassed. 
blushed in a little bit. You're very welcome, Mr. Straight Outta Content. My pleasure helping you and helping you understand the process and which type of fabrics you can press on, what type of vector file you need, what type of dimensions you need, everything that you may need. I'm more than happy to help you. If you have more questions, you can always contact me at fcdvinylandapparel at gmail.com. And again, like you mentioned, yes, you would just go to our website, you would hit shop now, you would order your prints, once you place your order, you will email me your design with your order number in the subject line and we can get you started. Again, if you have any questions, please contact me and then we will see you again next time. Bye. Okay, thank you for my sheets. I'll be ordering from you soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He is fine.